Hello, dear traders and partners of eMarkets. My name is Daria, I'm the financial advisor, and today we're going to discuss the situation in the global financial markets. So let's get started. Now GBBUSD, and the Bank of England has kept the interest rate unchanged, 0.1%. However, many have heard the idea of reducing the stimulus for the economy. This is necessary, including other reasons, in order to have a reserve of further stimulation in the event of unaffordable economic environment. But despite the change in the strategy, the bank is unlikely to aggressively raise rates in the near future. While the currency is trading above the level of 1.3870, we consider the possibility of going long. Next, ODUSD and the Reserve Bank of Australia was cautiously optimistic about Australia's monetary policy. New problems related to the number of new Delta COVID infections in Australia, the United States and China are holding back the Australian dollar's growth against the US dollar. Australia has set a new record of the number of COVID-19 cases since August 2020. We should probably wait for the news on US non-farm payrolls to be able to predict where the currency pair can go next. Last USDGPY and the dollar rose against the Japanese yen after the Fed chairman said conditions for an interest rate hike could be met as early as 2023 and after a bit jobless claims data on Thursday. Labor Department data showed that the number of claims for benefits fell last week and the number of unemployed in July fell to its lowest level in all of 2021. On the other hand, the number of COVID Delta infections in the US is close to a six month high, and Japan has set a new record for COVID infections. So, for now, these are the main trading ideas for the upcoming trading session. Thank you for your attention. Subscribe to our channel, and we will do our best for you to reach success trading with A Markets.